I have some absolutely fantastic, wonderful news to report for you guys today out of the state of Michigan, of all places. I'm sure many of you have seen the story about the chief operating officer under the tyrant Whitmer vacationing here in the state of Florida. Now, the problem with the way that it's being reported in most of the major media outlets is it doesn't cover the real story. You see, the real story is this. The tyrant Whitmer, she's failing. She can't even convince her own chief operating officer to comply with her suggestions. If she can't do that with her, how could she possibly hope to do it with people in her state? Now let's go over the details of this real quick. Michigan Governor's Office dismisses quote-unquote partisan report revealing top aide headed to Florida for spring break. A top aide for Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer is facing criticism for defying COVID-19 travel warnings from her boss and traveling to the less strict Florida for a vacation. Trisha L. Foster, pictured here on the right, and by the way, well done, Miss Foster. Absolutely well done. Thank you for visiting Florida. We were glad to have you here. Come back soon, and if you're up to me, we'd be comping you some rooms, sending you some gift certificates. Bring friends next time so that we can continue to illuminate freedom going forward. Trisha L. Foster, appointed by Whitmer as her chief operations officer, took her trip to Florida only days after the governor warned against doing exactly that. Now, this is going to expose the hypocrisy of Governor Whitmer because her counsel, her warning, actually goes against CDC guidelines. Whitmer warned this week she was concerned about Michigan residents taking spring break trips to Florida, which has far less strict pandemic restrictions, and returning to the state. Her top aide apparently wasn't listening as she posted photos from Siesta Key to her Facebook account with screenshots originally attained by another news source that I can't even say on YouTube. The photos have since been taken down. The images show Foster, who has been tasked with handling Michigan's COVID-19 vaccine rollout strategy, on a beach when someone commented saying they thought they saw her walking on a beach in the Sunshine State, she replied, likely. Now, real quick, just for clarity, in this article, it says she was, quote-unquote, in the Keys. That's not exactly true. Down here, of course, is the Keys. Where she was is a place called Siesta Key. And if I remember right, yeah, it's here. It's just outside of Sarasota, which is just south of Tampa, St. Pete, up on the western Gulf Coast. Beautiful place. Siesta Key, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is Palm Island. I live in Palm Coast. Palm Coast is way over on the eastern side of the state, way far away from here, uh, two and a half, three hours away. So just f so there's no confusion. I know below the videos you see the little thing says Palm Coast. There's Palm everything down here, Palm Beach, Palm Island, Palm Coast. It's just part of living in Florida where there's palm trees everywhere. But not to get distracted. You see, the real story here, the real story is something that the Florida Maquis has been talking about for a long time, about how we can succeed going forward. Trisha Foster took money that she earned as the chief operating officer of Michigan, state of Michigan, read tax dollars, her salary equals tax dollars, and she brought them to the state of Florida where she spent them money out of the coffers of Michigan and into the coffers of Florida, voting with her money. I don't care who she voted for in the last election, the fact that she came to Florida and traveled here and had a great time and enjoyed herself, it seems like it was a last-minute trip, which is fine. doesn't matter whether you plan it or not. Like I said, love to have you back anytime. But it proves something. If the tyrant Whitmer can't even convince her own COO to get on board and comply with her lockdown guidelines, how helpless is she to convince anyone else? 
This is the real story. This is absolutely the, the, the best story ever. And I want you to look real close at the pictures that she took here saying, uh, good day. And see if you notice anything. Now, the faces are, of course, blurred out to protect the identities of just young ones having a good time on the beach, which is what they're supposed to be doing this time of year. But you can still see the lack of, of, of a certain thing. The lack of a certain thing on all of these faces. Here, 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 here. You see, that's the real story. That's the real story. And like I said, this is not any kind of a hit piece on Miss Trish L. Foster. In fact, the exact opposite is true in my mind. This shows there are good people in Michigan who still value freedom. Who still value the ability to travel. And we are welcome to it here in Florida. Anyone who wants to come from anywhere. Now, of course, when it comes to people living here in Florida and those living in the South, yes, keep your money in the South. In fact, those in the North, bring your money too. That's the goal. This is total success and fantastic, super great news. Once again, well done, Trisha Foster. You did what any normal human being in the situation would do. Now, it also says in the article, and this is where things get a little bit weird, talking about uh, apparently her son was COVID positive at home, um, quote, missing his senior trip to the Bahamas, so planned girls plan B 24 hours before flight. Now, here's what people are saying. It's like, uh, you know, quote, we're never in this together, that it's some kind of hypocrisy. It's absolutely not. They make the, the argument here, it's that, uh, you know, that somehow this, this woman is, is part of some cabal that's saying you should do X, Y, Z when she's doing A, B, C. Not the case. Not the case. And this is actually confirmed here. Now, Bobby Letty, Whitmer's press secretary, has acknowledged the photos are, in fact, from Foster's Facebook page, but slammed the report as a quote-unquote partisan attack from another website, adding that Foster is quote-unquote fully vaccinated. He noted that Foster was in compliance with the most recent Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidance that says those fully vaccinated can travel within the country at low risk to themselves and others. So that would be going against what the governor of Michigan is now saying. She's, CDC says it's okay. If you're fully vaccinated, you can travel. But now the governor of Michigan is somehow saying that that's not the case. Oops. So now who is the one violating CDC guidelines? That would be, I believe, the governor of Michigan. This is the story not being reported. And of course, it doesn't talk too much about those pictured here. I mean, I'm assuming she's the one behind the camera. So, I think this is just more evidence of reality versus the cyber world. See, the cyber world wants you to believe one thing, but what's going on in reality is another. But there's no way to slice this, at least from the perspective of someone in Florida, that it isn't good news. It's great news, in fact. It's fantastic news that even those that perhaps in the past we might have perceived as our enemies are actually our friends and are actually really on our side. And if there's any um, desire for unity, this is where it's going to come from. People just getting back to normal. People just 
realizing, okay, you know what? After a year and a half of this nonsense, it's just time to use our heads and have com- common sense and just enjoy life because life is short. I mean, how long can you possibly tell someone to hide under the couch with Anderson Cooper and Dana Perino before they realize this can't be a way to live? There's an old line from a uh, Larry Gatlin song that says, uh, just existing makes dying look awful easy. Maybe tomorrow I've done enough dying today. That's the title of the song. It's very prescient. It's an old song, back in the 70s, I think. Just existing makes dying look awful easy. And thank you once again, COO Michigan, Trisha L. Foster, for not just existing in your life. Coming to Florida and living. God bless. Happy Sunday. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.